Jared is with us in Minneapolis. Hi, Jared. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hey, Dave. How are you doing? Better than I deserve. What's up? Well, we have um, completed uh, most of the baby steps. We are now max funding 15% uh, between our Roth 401k through work and our Roth IRA. Mm -hmm. Um, And we have some money. My wife needs a new car. Our household income is $160,000 a year. Mm -hmm. Um, And we are ready to pay about $25,000 cash for a new car for her. Good. However, that being said, the used car market is ridiculous right now. Agreed. And, uh, for example, I just out of curiosity put in an order on a Ford pickup truck. It's like the little Ford Maverick. Um, I built that for twenty-two grand, and it's going for thirty-five grand used on the used market right now. So I'm just wondering. Um, are we in a situation where it might be acceptable to buy new if you've got the cash for it rather than buy used? Um, because I'm going to reap several benefits just from warranties, it never being driven by somebody else um, and all that. Yeah. I mean, the reason for our no new car rule before you have a million dollar net worth is because you can't take the hit when you drive it off the lot, right? How much it loses in value. But now it's the only right. time I can remember. So I'll be so curious it's only time in history. That, no, and you're right, Jared. My husband and I, we were looking for a new car, and we even, Kelly Blue booked our van. We bought a new van in 2019. We can mm-hmm. sell it today for $2,000 more than what we paid for it in 2019. Like, it's bizarre. So, in, right. in my opinion, I mean, if it's if it's cheaper, but you, can you get the truck, though? That's the thing. Is yeah, that we were looking get, at you're cars. You're not going to get that truck, yeah. dude. You're, well, it'll, it has, it'll take um, four months. It has a build date of April 18th. Yeah, it has a build date, but you haven't talked to the dealer yet about how much they're going to mark it up above MSRP because yeah, dealers, are, are, dealers uh, are dumping all these MSRPs writing. all over the place. Just make sure you get solid numbers, though. But here's yeah, the deal, though. I don't think you're going to get that. You have it in writing. In writing, so then they're not going to do that, which uh, I'll contest if they do. Um, either they do bump it up, I'd, it'd still be worth less than what it would be used. Yeah. So yeah. what's your net worth? Uh, probably about $100,000 right now. We're both 24. Mm-hmm. We are debt-free. So we here's the thing. Days. You know, you can do this. Here's the danger if you do it. All right. The danger is, number one, I don't think that this is going to fly. I don't think it's going to work because the, the all the people I'm talking to in the car business are marking up everything. And so I mm-hmm. don't know that you're going to take delivery on this like you think you're going to. You might. It might be. You might pull it off. Um, in which case, you could sell it the next day for a ten thousand dollar profit. And so that just sounds right. a little whack to me, doesn't it? To you, you know. Generally speaking, in my life, if something sounds too good to be true, it's cause it is. So that's the problem that bothers me here. The second thing is this: I don't want you to get in the habit of asking the wrong question. Right. And the wrong question is, how can I figure out a way to violate a proven system towards wealth and still be okay because I want a truck, you know? And oh, okay. So, no, seriously, this is this is a problem. I don't, I don't know if I agree. To, I don't know. Hold on. Jared needs a new car. <laughs> Jared sees a used car. I, I for t- it's it's still the wrong question for twenty. No, if I need a new car, one cost me twenty six thousand, and a new one cost me twenty two thousand. And I have a letter which that may be all f- not real. We'll whatever thing we'll see. We'll see. But to me, it's math. Like the reason the new car principle, it's math. Like back so, what happens three years five ago- years from today? What happens thirty years from today to Jared if he keeps asking questions? that he's trying to figure out a way to make everything okay that he wants no, to do. No, I don't think he this is. The, this, I know, but this rationalization process that people use is what gets them in trouble. Okay, and but so here's, here, a, here's a good wait, idea. Wait, just numbers. Cars go down in value. Don't buy expensive cars when you're broke and 24 years old, you know? Don't do it, you know? But expensive car, though, I, is I by understand. the number, though. I understand, but I, there's a reason that for 30 years I've taught people not to buy new cars until they have a million dollar net worth. There's a reason. And the reason and is. Re- and because they go down in value like a rock. So yes. do the used cars. And, yes. and if you buy a 35, so my advice would be completely different. My advice would what? be don't buy a car right now. Ah. It's a horrible oh, time Jared. to buy a car. Oh, no. It's a horrible time to buy a car. Answer C. So we didn't even I, go there. If I 
and, yeah. and I've got the money to absorb yeah. the blow, and my net worth is considerably more than a million dollars. But if I was getting ready to buy a car, it wouldn't be this year. I'm going to drive what I got and let this crap work its way out. Okay, but what if, for people listening, though, because I, I literally, one of one of my friends who you know, her van died, like, it, they took it, and they were like, it's basically total. Well, if you, if you don't have a car, you got to buy a car. Yeah, that's, so, I, that's not what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm saying, if you're just sitting here and you're going, I'd like to upgrade. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah that's fair. It's a crummy year to do that. That's fair. Totally. It's totally. a horrible It's a horrible time to build a house. Yes. Right now. Yes. Because yes. the materials and the subs and the GCs are nuts. Totally. I know. But if Jared had to buy a car, though, what would you say, though? If he was home. Homeless, I'd tell him to build a house. <laughs> if he had to buy a car, I'd tell him to buy a car. And buy a new car or used no, car? You didn't I, answer I, it. I, I really wouldn't. You would get the $26,000 used I, one? I, Because, I, well, number one, I'm just, I'm not buying the premise that it's okay. all going to work out. Okay. Because, I mean, I, I was with a guy the other day on the lot looking at a $104,000 car. you said you weren't going to buy a no, new I car. Did, I said, I, I didn't say I was buying it. I was Uh-oh. with a guy. Oh, okay. okay. It's a $104,000 car. That you can't find, yeah. and they're brand new, and you can't find them. They're short on inventory, like yeah. all cars are. Yeah. You know what they're selling it for? One hundred and forty thousand, brand new. They marked it up thirty six thousand dollars over MSRP. The dealer did on a brand new vehicle that was sitting in the lot right there. Yeah, and I don't care if it's a build order or not. It's going to land on the dadgum lot. Yeah, and that dealer can only get so many of each allocation of each vehicle, yeah. and that they can mark them up thirty thousand, or they can sell you one at what you built it on the web for. So what, I ain't buying it. I know, but what is that thing? But what is it though? When you can build it online and buy it, how do they? Like I, I don't. Listen, I'm just telling you, the pressure is out there right now, and yeah. until the pressure subsides, you're gonna have to be careful. Yes. You have to be careful. Yes. And, and don't get in the habit of trying to figure out a way to do things that, that are perpendicular to what you know to be true. Yeah. That's a bad habit to put yourself That's in. Fair. It's a bad question to ask in that sense. I'm not saying him, him asking the question was invalid. I appreciate the discussion. I like talking about it, arguing with you about it. But the, uh, <laughs> That's why I'm here. God's <laughs> sakes. But, but the... Uh, uh, you know, that that's the thing. I just you know, it's a it's all it's a whacked world yeah, right now. Yeah. yeah. Horrible time to buy a car.